Do you want to know the best OBS studio settings for recording? Don't worry though, if you got a low-end PC, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks as a workaround to get past that. But you know what you need in order to complement those amazing recordings? Some of these awesome gaming overlays from Own.Pro. Own.Pro is the best place to get all of your OBS studio needs for streaming. They have overlays, alerts, tools to get you started streaming in actual seconds. They have over 600 premium overlays and alerts. They even have their own Twitch chatbot, stream labels, they got their stream event list, and they even got you covered with some copyright free music so you don't have to worry about getting a DMCA strike. So consider becoming one of the many streamers that are switching over to Own.Pro because it's so easy that anybody can get started with a professional looking stream. But shout outs to Own.Pro for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description down below. But let's jump into OBS Studio to get working on our recording settings. So first things first, let's go ahead and open our settings by going to the bottom right corner and clicking on settings. If you haven't seen my video for the best OBS streaming settings, I'll leave that in the top right corner so you can go ahead and check that out. But for this video, we're going to be focusing on actual video recordings that you can upload to YouTube when you're done. So let's jump straight to output and then go to recording and then make sure to change your output mode to advanced because that's going to give you all of the options that we're going to make tweaks to. The type that you want to pick is going to be standard. The recording path is going to be where all of your videos end up saving. So after you're done recording your video, you can find the video file in that designated folder. So I'm going to change this from my C drive to my solid state drive because I have extra storage there. And you can change your recording path by going to click browse and you can make a new folder called OBS studio or whatever you'd like to name it where you can store all of your video files now you can choose your recording format this is going to be the type of file that the video file is going to be saved as for your recording format I would recommend using either MOV or mp4 I personally like using mp4 just because I feel like it's very versatile when you go to upload to YouTube and other video platforms but you can choose whatever format you would like because most of the time you're going to use this video file and you're going to put it into some sort of video editing software so that way you can make your edits your changes Changes, and then you're gonna upload it to YouTube after. So you can change the video format at that time as well. By the way, I just wanted to thank all my patrons for being able to help me make these videos for you guys. So if you guys wanna check that out, it'll be in the description down below. So for the audio tracks, I want two separate audio tracks, one being just my microphone and one being just my game volume. I'm gonna disable one because for my stream, it's combined so it has both the game audio and microphone in one audio track and I don't wanna mess with that. So I'm gonna untrack that for my recordings. I'm gonna check two and I'm gonna check three. And just for right Right now, I'm going to show you how to do that, so make sure to click apply, hit OK, click one of these two gears, and then go to advanced audio properties. Now you can see that this is where the tracks are. For my first track, that's going to be my live stream track. Whenever I'm streaming live on Twitch, which I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, feel free to check out the channel down below. The first track is going to be a combination of both my mic and my game volume because it's going to be one signal for the stream. So for the other tracks for the recording, remember that we chose two and three. So if I just want my game audio on track two, then I have to disable my mic getting sent to track two. And so if I just want my mic on track three, then I have to disable my game volume on track three. When we go to export our video file for the recording, just our game volume is gonna be on our audio track two, and just our mic volume is gonna be on audio track three. So once you've done that, go ahead and click close and let's go back to settings and then we'll go to output and then recording. So for the encoder, you might have some different options here. If you have NVIDIA NVEC new, always pick this option because it's gonna be the better of the two. However, if you drop this down and you don't have NVIDIA NVEC, then go ahead and use X264. I'm gonna go over both of these very quickly, so just sit tight. So if you have NVIDIA NVEC new, select that. And then what we wanna look at is all these different options down here. Very very quickly though, I want to get some information to be able to tell us what to put for the bitrate, so let's head over to Google. I'm going to leave this page in the description down below if you want to follow along at home. So this is just the Google YouTube help page to basically tell you what bitrate we need to have in order to have a certain type of quality for our videos. So if we look here, this box says the recommended video bit rates for high definition uploads is that if I want to do 1080p and I want to have about 60 frames per second, then we need about 15 megabits per second. And if we translate that to kilobits per second, you just have to multiply by a thousand. I want to try doing 1080p at 60 frames per second, so I'm going to do 15,000 kilobits per second for our bitrate. If you don't think your computer can handle this, or your videos, or your recordings are getting super choppy, then you're going to want to keep trying lower bit rates and different quality settings until you can get it to work for you, especially for you low-end PC users. So if this is too much, try checking out the box above
above it to get some standard definition uploads instead. So the chart told us that if I want to do 1080p 60 FPS, then I would have to have 15,000 kilobits per second. So let's type that in. Our rate control is always going to be CBR. Keyframe interval is two. Preset, you can set this to max quality, but if your computer starts freaking out, you can try lowering it just until your computer can handle it, depending on whatever specs you might have. The profile should be set to high, look ahead disabled, the psycho visual tuning should be enabled, GPU zero and max B frames two. If you didn't have the Nvidia NVEC, then let's go ahead and show you what the settings would be for X264. If we wanted to do 1080p 60 FPS, we just do the same thing. We'll do 15,000 kilobits per second keyframe intervals too. For your CPU usage preset, it's really going to depend on what kind of CPU you have and how strong it is. So this is going to be one you're going to have to mess around with until you find something that works best for you. But if you have it set too low or too fast, either your recording is going to be too choppy or your game is actually going to freak out and start lagging because of the priority of the CPU being spent on OBS Studio trying to actually record your gameplay. Typically, I would recommend just starting off with very fast if you can and tweak from there. Beside that, set your profile to high and then you're good for the encoder settings moving on to the audio tab we just want to set track one track two and then whatever tracks you're using as 320 because that's going to give you the best audio quality for your audio tracks and then to make sure that your stuff's actually getting picked up meaning your game volume and your microphone we got to check out the audio tab and make sure that your global audio devices are set correctly so whatever speakers you're using right now that your game volume's coming out of that's what you're going to want to select for your desktop audio i know that my speakers audio box usb 96 those are my studio monitors that i hear everything out of that's what i'm going to select because that's what i want the stream or the recording to be able to hear and then mic slash auxiliary audio that's going to be the same exact thing i know that it's plugged into my audio box usb in the line port so that's why i have this selected as well moving on to the video tab we want to make sure that our base resolution is set to 1080 we want to change our output resolution to whatever we want to have for the recording so for this case i want to change it to 1080p because we want to record in 1080p 60 fps so i'm going to change it to 1920x1080. We want to make sure we set our downscale filter to Lanskos for sharpening scaling at 36 samples because that's going to be the best filter that we can use. And then obviously, since we want to do 1080p by 60 FPS, or at least aim for that, we want to set our common FPS values to 60. Moving on to the advanced tab, this is going to be another trick in case your CPU is freaking out for our recordings. For your process priority, this is going to determine how much CPU is going to be spent on just OBS Studio recording and streaming your gameplay, depending on what you're doing. So if your game's starts to freak out or lag chances are you can change the process priority and kind of tweak with it until you get something that works with your specs i would always recommend starting with normal but if your game starts to freak out and lag then you can change it to below normal because then it's going to give more cpu to focus on your game and less cpu on obs studio however then your recordings might start to be a little choppy but like i said everybody has different specs for their computer so it's going to require a little bit of trial and error a real quick tip to be able to test out live while you're recording or you're streaming is bring up your task manager by using Control alt delete and then go ahead click on performance and navigate to the cpu tab if you see that your cpu is like freaking out at 90 or 100 percent that means that your cpu is getting overtaxed and you want to lower it so in this case you're going to set your process priority to about below normal or lower than you had it because the higher your cpu is working the more that you're overstressing it out the higher likelihood the, either your game is going to lag or your recordings are going to stutter so it's really just a balancing act that you have to find your footing in then once you're all done choosing all the settings make sure to hit apply otherwise it will not save hit ok and all you have to do is click the little start streaming button down here and then it'll start recording with the little red circle there and the little time going up and then once you're done click stop recording and it'll show up in the video folder that you designated in the settings but I hope this video helped check out the ones on the side and I'll see you in the next one